bad jump patterns can kill the value of your instrumentals. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create professionally sound and ama piano jump patterns for your beats. Let's have some fun. Our tempo is gonna be 114. And go to Afrobeat Essentials Bundle, Kaza. Let me use this kick and fill each four steps. And I'm gonna go to percussion. Let I think I might use this perk. Damn, damn, damn. Something simple like that. Comment B. We have it. And now, so we can already feel the vibe. Let's try to find a shaker. Let me use this one. This shaker is nice. On this shaker, I really love this panning automation that you can hear. And next thing gonna be using this one, we combine it with this. Cut, cut, something this in there. Nice. And uh, go to maybe conga. I'm gonna be using this one and Go to snare. Let me use Uno. Something simple like that. And then we're gonna try to find some nice conga and Afro vibe. We're gonna use this particular conga, your tab. Now guys, we have the basic Ama Piano jump pattern. If I go to the bonus folder and then use this one, you will see that it already sounds nice. This is a basic Ama Piano jump pattern. It sounds good, but now we're gonna take it to another level by adding more conga, more percussion. Also, we're gonna try to add this swing combined with this rhythm. It's gonna be fire. So let's get back to it. Let's see if we can add maybe a conga. Let me go to No Vibe and go to Conga. I'm not gonna use this one. But you see, when you have this release, what we're gonna do is go to the um, envelope. We're gonna make it sound shorter. So when we press the nose, when we release it, it's gonna cut. So something simple like that. But when we go in, we're gonna go inside the of the piano world. We select. And then we make it short like that, like that. Sorry, like. Nice. I think uh, we're gonna use another conga instead of this one. Um. Okay, it's good. And then now we're gonna go to the bonus folder and Kaza try to let me use this. Okay. Something simple like that. Simple like that, guys. Sorry. Coinsy is gonna be this long. Two bars, beam, and then we have it like that. Now 
Maybe we can try to add another conga. Let's go to our full vibe. Let's use this one. I mean, I, I think I used this one already. Maybe we can have it like that also. Please make sure to check out my best selling drum kit, the Afrobeat Essentials Bundle. All drum samples that I use today are from this drum kit. I put the link in the description box. Now, let's get back to the video. And let's see if we can add even more um, percussion. I'm gonna go to the Afrobeat Essentials Bundle 2 volume 2. Guys, this one I'm working on it. It's gonna come out soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, let me go to the percussion. Let me use this one. I think they sound nice guys. Let me play only the drum file. Another thing you can do to make it more interesting, you can go to Gaza and then go to the shaker. You can combine different shaker. Maybe let's try this one. If we have it like that. Maybe we can pin this one a little bit. I think I have this drum loop. Those drum loop. Okay, why right click on it and then open a new slice sec channel. It's gonna give us some chop that we can play with. Let's see. Here is what, what is that? So we have it like that. Uh, let's make sure it's on time, sorry. I think it's nice. I'm gonna keep it simple like that. And you can do that with any drum loop that you have. I'm a piano, dancehall, afrobeat, hip hop. You can use this method to try to add some vibe, some different vibe to your drum. So now that we have everything, we can add everything to the mixer channel. I'm gonna try to process all the drums together. Add them to this track only. You add them to this track only, call it drum boss. And duck it to the white. That means right there, this is gonna this is gonna be our section for bosses. Now, when I'm mixing, guys, the white section is gonna be all of our boss. I think the shaker is all a little bit too loud. Okay, now go to the boss. We're gonna uh, process them, make them sound even more interesting. I'm gonna use this vintage drive to add some distortion. I really love this one, sound nice. Without. But I'm gonna put it at 50%. Without it, with it. And the next thing I'm gonna add gonna be the SSL stereo image. With this one, I'm just gonna make the drum sound a little bit wider. Not too much, guys. Like that. If I will move the, the effect. And then with the effect. And 
you can see they sound so nice one thing that is very important is organize your session i'm gonna try to keep up with organizing my session every time that i'm doing a tutorial a mixing tutorial even beat making so you guys can do the same when you organize your session it's gonna be easier for you to really get things done for example on this one we're gonna change the colors for example for all my drum i'm gonna go with the brown colors and then now when i'm on my mixer when i see this color that means it's gonna be a drum sample any if i want anything for my drum i can come right here and then this is my drum boss I can change the colors and then for the bosses i'm gonna use this one as colors so this is what we're gonna do this um year i'm gonna try to make everything look easier for you all and then share every knowledge that i have with you like i told you guys this is a simple ama piano drum pattern with some little cool advanced tricks so yeah let me play it for you all again enjoy You can clearly see the quality of the drum sample using as a direct impact on the drum pattern. Please guys, make sure to take care of your sound selection. That is very important. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bow!